Spanning an area of more than 3 million square miles, the Amazon represents an extensive expanse. It serves as the unparalleled center of biodiversity on the planet, accommodating 3 million animal species and over 3,000 plant species. Within this untamed environment, one can anticipate encountering unusual phenomena and making discoveries. Despite our advancements in technology, our understanding of this remarkable forest is only at the surface level. If you're keen to delve into the secrets of the Amazon rainforest, you're in the right place. Join us as we unveil frightening recent findings concealed in the Amazon rainforest. We're all familiar with the mighty Amazon River, a natural wonder that stands as one of the world's largest rivers. However, did you know that as recently as 2011, another river was discovered right within the heart of the Amazon? It might sound surprising considering the vastness of the Amazon rainforest and its thick canopy that conceals much of its secrets. You might think this newly uncovered river would be a tiny stream, right? Well, the Hamza, as it has come to be known, is no small river. In fact, it stretches to a length comparable to the Amazon itself, measuring 6,000 kilometers. What's more, it ranges in width from approximately 200 to 400 kilometers, which is even wider than the Amazon River's mouth. Despite being wider than the Amazon River, the Hamza isn't a river in the traditional sense. It's more like a very wide trickle of water compared to the rushing waters of the Amazon. So why haven't we heard of the Hamza River before? That's because it's located about 4 kilometers underground. Scientists were able to discover it using old oil wells and computer simulations. Beneath the surface of the Amazon River Basin lies a world filled with fascinating, albeit somewhat intimidating, aquatic inhabitants. These creatures range from the unsightly yet harmless to the notorious, such as the Parara. Also known as the saber-toothed tigerfish and the water wolf, the Parara is undoubtedly one of the most intriguing fish found in these waters. Its mystique is partly due to the limited research conducted on this species, but its appearance is what truly sets it apart. The first notable feature is its teeth, with sharp, spiky daggers lining its gums accompanied by two elongated fangs protruding from the lower jaw, measuring four to six inches in length. These fangs are so large that pararas are born with specially designed holes in their upper jaws to accommodate them. In terms of appetite, the parara doesn't shy away from challenging meals and it's not unheard of for them to devour piranhas as part of their daily diet. These fish thrive in clear, fast-flowing waters with strong currents, often found in turbulent rivers and at the base of cascading waterfalls. What sets them apart as hunters is their tactics. Pararas are skilled at darting into schools of fish, creating chaos among their prey and using their fangs as versatile tools. These teeth function as spears capable of stabbing, grabbing, and holding their prey, while some victims are swallowed whole, others meet a more gruesome fate, torn apart by the Parara's dagger-like teeth. Next is a peculiar-looking insect known as the peanut head bug. It is one creature that is hard to miss, thanks to its unique appearance. Its head looks just like a peanut, but this peanut-shaped head isn't just for show. It's a clever disguise that helps these insects fend off predators in their natural habitat. What's even more intriguing is that peanut-headed bugs have a hidden weapon in their arsenal. They can release a foul-smelling substance as a defense tactic, adding to their crafty survival skills. These bugs come in various colors that match their surroundings, making them masters of camouflage, which further helps them avoid being on the menu for other creatures. But that's not all. The peanut-headed bug has another fascinating trick up its sleeve, or rather on its wings, it sports a pair of large, fake eyes that give the impression of a bigger and scarier insect, deterring potential threats. If that wasn't cool enough, these bugs even have a luminous feature that helps them light up in the dark. Despite their unusual appearance, peanut-headed bugs have a vital role in their ecosystem. They work as pollinators, helping plants grow and thrive. The Amazonian landscape in Brazil is characterized by a series of extensive ring-shaped trenches, these ancient earthworks precede the vast rainforest that currently covers the area. While resembling the Nazca Lines in Peru, their purpose remains an enigma, continuing to perplex archaeologists to this day. Various suggestions have been proposed in the past, ranging from them being burial grounds to serving as a form of defense. However, the truth remains elusive, 
A more unconventional theory suggests that these rings could be marks left by UFOs that landed before the forest grew. The question of how the ancient people created these rings lingers, with the answer shrouded in uncertainty. There is no definitive evidence that the necessary tools for creating these rings even existed during the time they were built. These ancient structures persist in mystifying us, serving as a reminder of the secrets concealed in the heart of the Amazon. Our compilation of astonishing discoveries in the Amazon jungle would be incomplete without the Arapaima. It holds the title of the largest freshwater fish with scales on the planet. The most substantial Arapaima ever recorded weighed 440 pounds and measured 15 feet in length. Truly impressive dimensions. What sets this fish apart is its remarkable self-defense mechanism. Its body is equipped with hard, mineralized scales, forming a natural shield against formidable predators like piranhas. These scales are so extraordinary that scientists are contemplating using them to develop bulletproof armor. Yes, this fish could potentially inspire future advancements in protection technology. But the Arapaima possesses yet another astounding trait. Unlike most fish species, it can breathe air. Every 5 to 15 minutes, it surfaces to gulp in fresh air. While this ability is advantageous in some ways, it can also be a disadvantage, as fishermen find it easier to capture the Arapaima due to this behavior. To add to its marvels, the Arapaima is not only a wonder of nature but also a delicacy. A single fish can yield a substantial amount of tasty flesh, making it a sought-after catch among locals. It's no wonder they are always on the lookout for these incredible creatures. Have you ever seen the film Shudder? It revolves around a couple haunted by a ghost appearing in their photos. A similar occurrence took place in 2011 in Brazil's Mouse region. During a trip, two British tourists took photos, capturing something extraordinary in one shot. While the camera focused on young children in the distance, a silvery light and, not far from it, something resembling an extraterrestrial being were visible in the background. Michael Cohen, a renowned writer fascinated by paranormal phenomena, noticed this strange figure. The being doesn't resemble any known life form but has a somewhat human-like shape. What adds to the spookiness is that the Mamu region is known for numerous UFO sightings. Some even believe aliens inhabit the area due to its diverse nature. The Brazilian government, intrigued by these events, conducted a covert operation called Operation Perto. They sent the army to investigate the presence of aliens in the region, keeping this operation secret for years until it was eventually declassified. Even if you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of Bigfoot, right? That elusive creature reportedly spotted in the forests of North America. Well, the Amazon jungle has its own version of Bigfoot, known as the Maroxi. These creatures are described as massive ape-like beings towering up to 12 feet in height. Despite their primitive appearance, they're said to be fairly intelligent, even using bows and arrows and living in villages. One account of the Maroxi comes from British explorer Colonel Persal H. Fawcett, who claimed to have encountered them while mapping out the jungles of South America in 1914. According to him, these creatures were incredibly hairy and lived north of a tribe called the Maubi. They communicated with grunts and were highly hostile towards humans. In his book, Lost Trails, Lost Cities, Fawcett described a close encounter with the Maroxi when they nearly attacked his team. They managed to scare them off by firing their guns into the ground near the creature's feet, causing them to flee in terror. In 1925, Colonel Fawcett and his entire expedition party vanished while searching for a lost city. Theories suggest they may have been killed by local tribes or died of starvation. Some even speculate that the Maroxi were responsible for their disappearance, although there's no concrete evidence to support this theory. You might be familiar with leeches, but the Tyrant King leech takes things to a whole new level. Despite its small size, typically less than 5 centimeters long, this little critter earns its name with anything but small teeth. The T-Rex leech boasts eight sharp fangs, each an impressive 130 microns high, too small to be seen by the human eye. While it may sound minuscule, each tooth is as thin as a human hair, but that's five times larger than the average leech's teeth. In other words, these tiny terrors pack quite a ferocious bite. What sets the T-Rex leech apart is its unsettling habit of crawling inside its victims. 
Using its formidable teeth, the T-Rex leech saws into the tissues of mammals through orifices that can include eyes, urethras, and rectums. It's as creepy as it sounds. The first known encounter with this unsettling creature occurred when a specimen was removed from a girl's nose in Peru's central Chanchamayo province in 2007. The girl, who frequently bathed in lakes, rivers, and streams in the Amazon Onan region of Peru, felt a strange sliding sensation in the back of her nose. Surprisingly, as eerie as it may be, the T-Rex leech could play a role in the future of medicine. Researchers at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City are studying this critter with hopes of developing drugs to prevent blood clotting. Imagine the eerie world of centipedes, those creatures with countless little legs that send shivers down your spine. Now picture a peculiar inhabitant of the Amazon, the mysterious Amazonian giant centipede, taking creepiness to a whole new level. This remarkable creature, with a length reaching up to 12 inches, is like a mini-monster straight out of an insect horror movie. But wait, the Amazonian giant centipede isn't just a size marvel, it's a relentless predator with a voracious appetite. Frogs, mice, small snakes, and even birds fall prey to this creature, turning it into an insectile antagonist in the wild. Picture a fascinating scene in a dark cave where a centipede hangs from the ceiling, using its multitude of legs to secure itself while feasting on a lifeless bat. In just about three hours, it manages to devour a significant portion of the bat's body mass, an astonishing display of determination for a single meal. While these creepy crawlers usually won't bother humans unless provoked, crossing paths with one can lead to an unforgettable experience. The venom they possess is no trivial matter, capable of inducing intense pain, swelling, fever, and fatigue. It's a reminder that even in the insect kingdom, the Amazonian giant centipede is a formidable force, both eerie and awe-inspiring in its unique way. Nature, in its wondrous artistry, weaves tales of extraordinary creations, and among its most enchanting works is the giant water lily, known as Victoria Amazonica. These aquatic marvels not only claim the title of the largest in the Amazon jungle, but stand among the grandest globally. Picture this. On average, a Victoria Amazonica can sprawl to an impressive 8 feet in diameter, its submerged stalk or peduncle extending up to 26 feet in length. So substantial is their buoyancy that one of these giants has recorded the feat of supporting a weight nearing 500 pounds, a testament to the robustness of nature's engineering. Yet. The saga of Victoria Amazonica unfolds further in the elegance of its flowers. These blooms, with diameters reaching up to 16 inches, grace the water's surface in shades of either pristine white or delicate pink. However, their beauty carries a touch of ephemeral mystique as they unfurl their petals for a fleeting 48 to 72 hours, releasing a delightful fragrance on their inaugural night. It's a spectacle of transient beauty, a fragrant dance that leaves an indelible mark on the observer. For those yearning to witness this aquatic spectacle, Amazon River Cruises offer a front row seat to the majesty of Victoria Amazonica. It's an experience that transcends time, etching memories destined to linger in the recesses of your consciousness. In the realm of the Amazon, nature's grandeur unfolds in the form of these colossal water lilies, a poetic testament to the artistry that dwells within the heart of the jungle. Within the vibrant heart of jungles, particularly the illustrious Amazon, lush and impenetrable, a continual cascade of new revelations unfolds. In this realm, where nature thrives in its densest form, discoveries emerge as essential keys to unravel the intricacies of the ecosystem and its inhabitants. Among these revelations, a standout moment occurred in 2010 when biologists stumbled upon the fire-tailed TD monkey in a remote corner of the southern Brazilian Amazon. Back then, the lack of substantial information posed a challenge in classifying this intriguing monkey. Its distinctive feature, the strikingly bright red tail, caught the researchers' attention. Yet these elusive creatures, residing high up in the trees, remained reclusive and scarce complicating observation efforts. We've reached the conclusion of this video. Feel free to share your thoughts on these captivating locations in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.